What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to cover another aspect of the Bungie blog posted a couple days back on major changes coming to Destiny 2 which for sure in the mind of many will improve the game for the better. I also think that many aspects were good, not perfect and won't completely fix the game but it's definitely heading in the right direction. Now the aspect I want to cover today is Zer and the changes he brings and the impact they will have on the game and the reasoning behind why he has brought the items he has when basically it's against what most of us want for the game. But before we go any further people if you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much more simply hit that like button on the video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. Okay so Zer. With the December DLC update on the 5th uh, with the Curse of Osiris, Zer's inventory will change and he will bring a select few new items to the game. Firstly, he will bring this new fated exotic engram. This you can purchase once per week and it will cost you 97 of your legendary shards. What this fated engram does is reward you an exotic you don't already have in your collection. As you see it reads, an engram with a predestined outcome, it will contain a new exotic if any remain to be collected. Now before I state my opinion on this and address many issues people have with these, let's check out the other new consumable to the game, the Freer Coins, yes they are back. In Destiny 1 you could pop one of these just before you defeat a boss, complete a strike or before you finish a PvP game and so forth. They could also be stacked although I can't remember the effects. But once you had used one and completed said activity, the effects were gone. They basically gave you a better chance of getting that also juicy loot. In Destiny 2, they are a little bit different. They do not stack or there's no need to do so as once one is applied, the effects last 4 hours no matter how many bosses you kill, strikes you complete or PvP games you take part in. Okay so Zer, a person many people don't actually agree on being here within the first place. Too many think he takes away a lot of the grind this game offers, and to be honest that ain't much at the moment. Him bringing these new items will allow you to get exotics even easier, which is what most people don't understand. The main issue people had and complained about when it came to Destiny 2 is the lack of end game grind, the lack of quality of life. Bungie basically allowing us to exploit these new changes with Zer basically make the grind for exotics even easier. Most people are thinking, well why introduce easier ways of getting exotics and end game gear? Isn't this the exact opposite of what the community wants? In fact it actually is, but is there a smarter move behind this by Bungie? The fact is exotics are the ultimate endgame loot, while people think they are. What else is there left for people to obtain once all exotics have been found? This in my opinion is definitely the mindset of the casual player who dedicates maybe between 2 and 10 hours per week, but this is far from the mindset of someone like me. Someone who plays the game for more than just exotics. Yes I am a collector, yes I like to collect all exotics, but it doesn't end there for me. Destiny to me from the start has been about chasing this game's best loot, whether that be exotic or not. Since the near start of the game, it's been thought of that exotics are the ultimate chase, when in fact this couldn't be further than the truth. Okay you don't believe me? Answer me this, how many exotics were there in the first game which you would use on a regular basis? Obviously depending on the time of the game but for me there was roughly 10, maybe less. Icebreaker, Galahorn, Touch of Malice, Snow Land Beyond and maybe the Plan C. Armors I'd use here and there but nothing of a major impact. There were other weapons I did use but nothing on a regular basis. For us hardcore players the grind goes past exotics, the quality of life goes way beyond exotics in terms of giving us things to chase. In Destiny 1, and I said this many many times, legendaries were rarer and more exotic so to speak than exotics. Most legendaries there is no set route in obtaining them. The Eld Yard, the Palindrome up until the Crucible Court Master started bringing it every week. The Longbow, the Grasp of Malik, yes it was a strike specific weapon, but there was no guarantee you'll get it. The Fatebringer, the Hopscotch Pilgrim, one I grinded literally 7 or 8 months for and never had it drop. And the Ayas Luna which I still to this day have never had a perfect roll on it and there's many many more. These were, in my opinion, more so exotics, so to speak, than the actual exotics. But you had to be a real hardcore player to understand that. You seriously had to spend countless hours grinding for most of them. Way beyond that of what a casual player was willing to put in or just couldn't do due to life in general. But the casual player thinks a game like Destiny is about collecting loot, which they are right, but the ultimate collection to them are exotics. In Bungie adding easier ways of obtaining exotics, that will keep the casual player happy. Yet for us hardcore players, maybe the chase goes beyond exotics, 
maybe into the realm of maybe the best rolled masterworks weapons available maybe the realm of collecting every legendary mercury weapon 11 in total maybe all the ornaments all the iron banner gear offers the vanguard gear offer the crucible gear offers the dead orbit new monarchy future war Cult, the eater of worlds red lair armor offers and even beyond that maybe that's our chase maybe that's our end game whereas the end game for casuals are exotics Let's put it this way, most casuals complain about things being too hard or too long to obtain, while hardcore players say the opposite. I just think what Bungie might be doing here, whether they realise it or not, is trying to keep both sides of the spectrum happy, the casual and hardcore players, and it could just work. But Bungie do have to improve on things for hardcore players in making the quality of life better. Have they announced anything which might? Well not as such, but for sure it's heading in the right direction. Am I mad about Zer bringing these things which make obtaining exotics much easier? Deep down, no I ain't, because once I've got those exotics they go in my vault and I rarely ever use them. I am however kind of disappointed Zer isn't going to be selling any ammo packs anytime soon, but I suppose new things will be added within the near future for sure. But yes guys, tell me what you think about what I've covered today. Do you think I make a good point? If so, spam that like button. And on that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one.